So I'm here talking about Temtem. I know for you people who love Undertale, not Tem, not the Thames from Undertale or Tem Village. Even though they, it uh, really sounds like they just looked at that name and was like, Tem. Tem. Sure! Anyway, um, my opinions and impressions of it, I haven't. A quick disclaimer, I haven't actually played this game, I've just looked up, like, gameplay and all that, because it's an overpriced beta. Not as overpriced of a beta as Google Stadia, but still an overpriced beta, nonetheless. Um, not only that, um, it seems to lack any kind of creativity whatsoever, with it's using... Fake mon, pretty much. I mean, there are good fake mon, but again, the fake mon, 90% of them aren't going to be nearly as good as real Pokemon. Um, uh, there's even uh, um, the, those fake stats. I can't remember what fake leak it was, but like, I think it was might have been Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, because I remember there was the Platypus one, and it's like, that was a fake leak from a few years ago. They literally just took those fake mons and put it into the game. So, they've been taking fake mons. I don't know how many fake mons they've just taken off the internet or um, made themselves. But I'd be willing to uh, put money towards that. It's mostly what they've took off the internet. And it just seems lazy and soulless. And um, get this. So, a lot. Uh, two of the main defenses for this game is... It's a uh, uh, small indie game and it's not, and it doesn't cost that much, being only about thirty quid. And the second one, be saying people saying that's only like twenty percent done. Um, the second one, the devs themselves have said no, it's about fifty percent done, about halfway done. And the second uh, and the first one can be debunked by the devs as well, because the devs said as they're going to be adding uh, bits of content after every update it's going to get more and more expensive to buy it um, which is just like that's just going to make it harder to get into like sure adding content will me make it make people um, just look at it and like uh, you know be more tempted to buy into it but then you're increasing the price which is basically counteracting everything you did in the first place, unless like you, unless you like, do a massive update with like, a new region's worth of Pokemon, and then add like five five quid onto it. That's pretty much unless you do something like that, then nobody's really gonna want to, you know, buy this game. Um, uh, but yeah, it has pretty much it right now, it's a overpriced beta, they're all, the everything in there just looks like a fake mon, which, again, there are some good fake mons in the world, but it's just weeks of l laziness. Um, uh, to be honest, you could get a better experience from any Pokemon ROM hack, really. Um, because there are a lot of good Pokemon ROM hacks that actually put a lot of effort into, like, adding new sprites and, uh, new story and all that, and, uh, there are some, uh, creative ROM hacks out there. Also, this is an MMORPG, which poses one very big problem. It's not a subscription service. So, and the, the MMORPGs are not cheap to keep running because you have to keep these massive servers going and you for to do that you need a constant cash flow now what's going to happen is one of two uh, is people are going to stop buying it and then they have one of two choices either shut down the servers meaning that everybody who were paid for this game has wasted their money because now they can't play it or the second option is 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 to add pay to win or even just like pay to play or just basically microtransactions. Um, just add a, a ton of microtransactions into the game and the hope that the whales keep uh, that you have enough whales in the community to keep the game going. But at that point, you're just like, but why? How would they 
do the microtransactions because um uh with like Pokemon you couldn't really do it unless it was like DLC or um anything you can't exactly they can't exactly just like add microtransactions for that for like um if you pay five quid you get ten um ultra balls or something or ten master balls. It's just like yeah, it's, they're probably going to be doing some sort, I do believe that they'd be like, if you pay X amount of money, you can get this fake one with these, you know, spreads and this item, probably shiny or whatever the uh, version of shiny is called. Um, or, or they start adding like um, new variants on shinies for a um, price, you know, you pay like 20 quid and you can get like ghost rare, ghost uh, Pokemon where there's like Pokemon with a little white skin or um, uh, dark, what, dark fake mon where they're all like dark and evil and stuff and the, the yeah, I can't see this game lasting too long really like unless they can get a ton of like money I mean they've they've uh, they raised well over their uh, asking amount to, to make the game and they're already having development issues and it's like how are you having development issues when you well made a lot more money than what you're asking for and not only that but you've all, but you're also getting like money from people actually paying to play your beta, essentially. Um, and then how do you expect to keep this going for for any amount for any significant amount of time? Um, because I'm not a genius, or I've never really done this kind of this kind of thing. I know ne I've never tried to run. A MMO server, but I'm pretty sure it's not cheap. Like, especially if you're hosting thousands and thousands and thousands of players. Well, actually, to be honest, they probably won't have that many players because people will probably get bored of it after a while. And it's like, eh, I'm gonna go back to Pokemon or any like. Seriously, just instead of buying this, get a free. Let me emphasize this. Free ROM hack off the internet. It has uh, much more, um, uh, which will probably have much more effort put into it. Will be uh, uh, more entertaining, and uh, uh, you will be able to play it in the five plus years because you won't with Temtem. Because in five plus years, the Temtem service will be down, and you won't be able to play the game. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.